Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to get Desmos running offline on desktop for Windows. Uh, there might be an equivalent uh, for Mac and Linux. I don't know though. I'm currently using incognito mode because I use a bunch of mods and plugins for Desmos. I don't know if it's any different with them, uh, but I'm doing this without them to show you that you can do this with an unmodded version of Desmos. So you will briefly need an internet connection on your device first in order to open up Desmos. Uh, as you can see, my laptop is connected to the internet. Uh, we'll go to Desmos, uh, choose the calculator that we want to use. We're just going to do graphing here. Um, and now you can see the graphing calculator is open. You want to right click anywhere on the screen so that you get this drop down. Uh, click save page as and then save the page. This will save it as an HTML file. Once you have that, you can now go offline. So now we're offline and then we can run the HTML file. Uh, as you can see, even when we're offline, it kind of works. Uh, you can see that the icons are kind of broken here, but you can try typing in a bunch of equations and whatnot. And as you can see, these do work. Uh, we can do sine of X, we can do uh, cosine T, sine T uh, from zero to tau. It works basically. Um, if you're familiar enough with Desmos, you'll be able to guess what all these things are, what are these icons. Uh, but if not, you can hover over each icon and it will probably show a tooltip uh, like this. The much more glaring issue is this big box above, of course. Uh, to fix this, you can open up developer tools by hitting Control shift i or the Function 12 key. Uh, if this doesn't pop up, uh, you may need to check if you have developer tools enabled on your browser. Uh, you can check that in your settings. Under the Inspector tab, you can search for Graph Container. And this pops up. If you open it, you'll see two things, uh, sometimes three things. Um, just hover over each section and find the one which highlights the, the blank space at the top. You can then right click that and delete the node. And you can see that it now displays correctly. You can probably resave the page to permanently keep this change. But other than that, that's once it's pretty much loaded offline. It doesn't really matter up to you. Now we can't really save and load stuff normally. Uh, like if I open up the tab on the left here, you can see that I just get an error saying that, uh, saying to check my internet connection. To load in a graph, you will need to first get the data for that graph. And that again requires an internet connection. You'll only have to do this once though. So I'll just pull up one of my graphs real quick as an example. So here's the graph. Uh, we can open up developer tools again, and instead of being in the inspector tab, we're going to go to the console tab. Uh, you can then write calc.getState and then hit enter, and it will return this. So this is the data for the Desmos graph uh, right here. We can right click it and copy object. This uh, you can save into a text file or a JSON file because it's all the graph data and it is now saved um, offline. Uh, after all of that, we can go back offline. Uh, we can then load up the offline version of Desmos, open up the console again, and then do calc.setState. Uh, and inside these parentheses, we want to paste in the graph data and then hit enter. And as you can see, it loads in. And we'll just like make an edit to this comment. So now we've, we've changed the graph a little bit. To save the progress uh, you made on the graph, you can basically do the same thing. Uh, as you can see, we're still in offline, so I can try to log in. Let's just use a fake email like polybridge at gmail.com. And as you can see, it gives me an error. Um, so to save, you open up the console using developer tools, type calc.getState, and then hit enter. Copy the object, and then you can save this into, again, into a text file or a JSON file. And then to show that uh, the edit was properly saved, uh, we can load up Desmos again, fix up all the stuff here, and then calc.setState, paste in our data, and then hit enter. And as you can see, our edit was saved. So yeah, this is just how you get Desmos offline. That's how you load things and save things uh, in offline mode. It's a bit jank. There's probably a good chance that somebody has streamlined this already. They might have built an entire separate version of Desmos. Um, but this is just 
the way that I figured out how to get uh, Desmos offline, and I've just been using this method. So, yeah. Uh, I hope this helps. <laughs>